It is finally here, the master bedroom room tour. If you guys have been here, you've seen the first two videos of this series that I just started called Revive This Rental. And basically I'm taking a builder grade rental and turning it into somewhere we love that is cozy, that just feels more like home. You know what I mean? So if you haven't watched those videos, make sure you go back and check those two videos out and then come back here and finish watching the room tour. If you guys know anything about renting and um, whether it's an apartment, a house, whatever it may be, um, it's hard to have the motivation to want to do anything because you're like, it's temporary, I can't do anything. You, you start to get in that mindset. So my mission was to get out of that mindset because that's what I start doing. I'm like, why, why even bother? So I'm slowly making over each room in our house and the first room is this room, our master bedroom. I feel like it just gets neglected. Like with we have three kids and it's just one of the rooms that's always the last room. I'm gonna show you everything that we did in this room. If you see something in this video and you're like, I love that, where'd you get it from? Look in the description box below. I'll be sure to list what I can. If it is thrifted, then obviously I cannot list it. And then if you see something that I didn't list, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer. But all right, let's get in to this room tour. Welcome to our newest adventure where through thrifting and real life DIYs, we're going to revive this rental. So first, let's be real. Does my room ever look this clean? No. Do I always have an amazing candle going and this lake house view going? No. But I will tell you that like these, if you just go on YouTube and search ambient video or like cozy cottage or cozy lake house background video or fireplace or whatever, this changes the cozy game in your room. Put it on in your living room, put it on in your room. I promise you it will change your life. Okay, so actually what started this whole series was these two TV stands. And we used to just have a bunch of stuff on the floor and my husband was just tired of it. So he just randomly ordered one day without, like he didn't show me, he didn't tell me nothing. He just ordered this TV stand um, just to get the stuff off the ground. We didn't even have a TV in here yet. Um, and he just wanted the stuff off the ground. Our bed was still on the floor. And, um, and so that started this whole series. So we have the TV stands. And then um, I just put a picture of us and um, that's also where our candle is. We have just a Dollar Tree candle holder that I spray painted gold and the candlestick is also from Dollar Tree. On this side of the TV stand, I just have plants because nothing makes any room better than a plant. So throughout this series, you will see a common theme and that is plants. <laughs> so comment, plant below if you love plants as much as me. Okay, and this little guy right here was thrifted. If you watch the very first video in this series, we went thrifting and I found this and I'm just obsessed with it. I just have it sitting on a stack of books right next to my little blue uh, microphone that I use when I do voiceovers. <laughs> And then on the wall behind me, I just have two hats and surprise, another plant. <laughs> While we're over here, I'm gonna talk about the curtains for one second. Um, I have to give a shout out again to my husband who picked out the curtain rod. That was like the second thing I think he picked for this room were the curtains and the curtain rod. So props to him. He just knows my style. And so when he started picking things out, he just knows that I'm, I like the boho, relaxed kind of vibe. Mid-century boho, hot mess vibe. That's me. So next to the bed, we have this nightstand. It's actually more of like a side table, but it has these two gigantic 
storage cabinets that I needed on my side of the bed. On top of it, I just have styled a lamp. And let me tell you about a lamp, you guys. If you are like me and are somewhere in your 30s and you've just now gotten a lamp in your life, you know how amazing it is. A bedside table lamp will change the game. Um, I don't know where I was before and why I never had a light or a lamp next to me by my bed, but it's amazing. Highly recommend. This one is from Ikea and I love it. The vase and the plant in it is thrifted. The black flower book is thrifted. I just have some journals and a Bible study on top of that. And of course, another Plant. This is like my favorite corner because of how the light hits like I'm just so obsessed and if you're wondering why Joseph doesn't also have a nightstand on his side it's because he wanted a actual shelf that went into the wall and we just didn't want to put the holes in the wall so eventually he will get that on his side and we just didn't want matching nightstands so if you're wondering that's why welcome to the bed <laughs> If you haven't seen this headboard right here, I actually made out of cardboard. And if you have not checked that video out, make sure you go and watch it. If you're looking for a budget friendly, like you guys, I'm telling you $30 budget friendly, then make sure you definitely go check that out. Our bedding is from Target. It's the Casa Luna collection and I love it. It's got the same tones that I just love, just earth tones and plants. It's just where I belong. Okay, guys, I'm trying to get you a good angle, but last but certainly not least, in our master bedroom, we have an arched mirror, just going with the arched theme, and it actually took me quite a while to find a mirror that I love. This one is extremely affordable. I got it from Amazon, and I will also link that below, and it, I just love it again something i've never had until i was in my 30s is a full length mirror so love this so much and on the bottom of it i just added a fluffy rug it was something that i knew i needed adding texture is something that will help elevate and just add interest to your room and so a rug like this is perfect okay guys i hope you enjoyed this short and sweet room makeover tour goal of this whole series is to make your house feel like home and to show you ways inexpensively and through diying that it is possible to do it i hope you enjoyed this tour like i said make sure you go check out the first two videos in the series i'll link them down below let me know what you guys think i know this probably isn't everyone's style but that's the beauty of design you can make it whatever you want it to be and you can add your personality in each room so make sure you check out the next video in this series. I will be in the garden and I cannot wait, you guys. Cannot wait. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. And until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.